This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Oh, cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, Memory Heart. How are you? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even let you finish. Uh, hold on. There we go. Oh, uh, technical difficulties. Out technical of the gate. difficulties. Um, to answer your first question, I'm well. How are you? Okay, good. To I answer was your second question, I don't know what. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, while well, we're seeing each other post mm-hmm. you going on vacation, post. Yes. Dry January finishing is what I wanted to say out of the gate. I was going to say, welcome to wet February. Oh, we drenched, baby. (laughs) Truly. We're going to be mildewed by the end of this. I have to ask you. Yeah. What was your first drink? It was a pink champagne. It was pink champagne, really? Yeah, I went to dinner with my stepmom, but uh-huh. he, but here's what I did: uh-huh. is I was meeting her. She was in town, and I was meeting her on the other side of town. Right. So I drove to make sure that I only had like two drinks. Put the insurance policy, and in. then drink them more when I got home. And then drink um, all the ride home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I did like a sparkling brute. Ooh. You know, rose. A classy way to reintroduce yourself. I did that into red wine. <laughs> Yes. What about you? Was it like because you landed in Hawaii and then had your first drink? Right. Did you guys are you do... so excited? We're going to be not talking about this anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except we're only going to talk only about it. Now. About it. Um, I yeah. We wanted to do a drink when we landed, not to just do like you know airplane bottles. Yeah. And uh, I did a Paloma. I did a tequila grapefruit lime. Wow. Yeah. And I've never seen you order a Paloma in my life. I usually order a Paloma, hold the grapefruit and the lime. Just, so just straight tequila. Just straight tequila. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. I tried to uh, incorporate some other odds and ends, so it felt like Good I was drinking you. a real drink. It was wonderful. It was now, great. did you guys drink all day, every day on vacay? A little bit, but it's also like when you're in Hawaii, that's why I was like, yeah. we don't have much to report, but because it's you kind of acclimate to everyone else's uh, pace. Chill vibes. Yeah. So I was like, oh, wow, this isn't aggressive. This isn't Vegas party, party, party. This Mm -hmm. is like, oh, yeah. So we're like slow rolling it over the course of the days. Um, So it was great. Do you have a plan? My new plan. What's your new plan? Is three days a week. Yeah, I I want to figure out that I don't have that exact plan figured okay. out. But I also want to obviously not do what I was doing prior to dry January. Drinking every day. <laughs> Drinking every day. Yeah. Um, my plan thus far, it's not a lot of people say just weekends, but we don't have normal jobs. No. So Our weekend could be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, sometimes my most boring night is Friday. Right. You know, uh, so I'm going to do three days a week. So last night. Chip and I had some drinks with dinner. Uh-huh. So now it's like, I'm not going to drink till Friday. Good for you. And then I'll drink Friday and Saturday. And those are my three days. And, and you, you just like take them when you want them. Three rolling days a week. Which is hilarious <laughs> because it's still drinking a lot more than <laughs> most people. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. Fair, fair, fair. But you know oh. what? Uh, little by little. Little by little. Uh, um, how was your, I mean, I want to uh, mm. ask you about everything. Super I know. Bowl, Super Everything. We did our second annual Super Bowling right. Sunday where we go to the bowling alley. Um, Chip did win mm. in our, our accumulated scores. Uh-huh. I won last year, which is why he got me this gorgeous trophy that's behind us. Uh, yes. If you're not watching the podcast, you can go on to youtube.com slash this might get and watch this version and see the trophy. It, it's a gorgeous trophy, but he won this time. So I need to get him something made. Oh, OK. I thought about a commemorative plate. You know, how <laughs> OK, this is also said uh, from one wow. half of this podcast that has already uh, kind of promised that we would get a bench advertisement somewhere Look, in the United States. Are <laughs> fucking expensive for everyone who blows up our Twitter being like, where's your bench? Where's your bench? We, it's expensive as fuck. We did some research and we realized that we're cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Do some research. Turns out we are tight asses. Yeah. Um, no, but I need to make Chip his trophy. Or I was just trying to think of like, does it have to be a trophy? Well, it needs to celebrate a victory. But okay. I feel like there's some like, isn't I mean, there like a like a, a dish for some like U.S. <laughs> Open? Yeah, yeah. Like what? Uh, there's a silver platter basically yes. for like tennis and that sort of thing. Or the but cake also, stand from the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> is that what they win? They win a cake. Oh, it's, a, it's like a crystal cake stand. I mean, this does feel like the most uh, right opportunity to wrap his car in something in a picture of him winning would kill me (laughs) he would absolutely kill me but speaking of cars yeah he's gotten some really great gifts this uh this week okay Uh, 
Well, first of all, okay. He came in <laughs> and he was like, I got you a gift to commemorate ending dry January. Okay. And he goes, that's I, so sweet. That's like a baby moon. And, a cute, <laughs> and he was like, it comes with a joke. I was like, okay. <laughs> he was like, I saw this chip. Yes, la, exactly. La, la. He was like, ugh, aren't you glad that week, that month is over. He got me Uggs. I noticed them when I walked in because that's the currency of New Jersey. Uh, but <laughs> I didn't want to say anything because, yeah, I have like three pairs in my closet. See, I've like, never had real Uggs. Really? I've only had knockoff shit and I've always wanted them. <laughs> and How do you, like when they the... were popular, I was very broke. Oh, yeah, yeah. That so, was what I invested in. I've never bought Louis Vuittons or expensive mm-hmm. shoes in any form other than Uggs. Did you say Louis Vuittons? Lou, Lou so Batons? there's Louis Vuittons and Lou Batons. Lou Batons, I don't know. The red, Never shall they meet. Uh, wait, I don't know. what? Bloody shoes. Oh, yeah. That's Cardi, <laughs> we got, that's we Cardi got B that. to say. But so he got me Uggs. I was very excited about it. But then. That's so cute. Check out what else he got me. Speaking what? of cars. Oh, there's an envelope that she's opening there's an envelope. right now. Uh, this is like the He end got of the me game show. Calvin <gasps> Pissing. Oh, my. He got me, y'all. It's a bumper sticker of Calvin Pissing on TMGW. I Almost got us those when people were tweeting at us about it. He got a decal. Oh my god! So I'm like, do I for real put this? Do I put this on my car for real? Calvin I mean, pissing on our podcast. What's the What's the alternative? I don't know. Like you also, don't just, never realize how demonic Calvin's face looks. Look. Uh, again <laughs> I went from hating Calvin pissing on things to being obsessed with it oh it's fantastic he's got a healthy stream of piss truly I'm um, kind of jealous so I think we need to get a second one for you and I think yeah. we should legitimately rock them I think it's great also because I leased my car same so, <laughs> so, so I'm gonna re- I'm gonna return a fiat with Calvin pissing oh, on it what great gifts Isn't those that are good? so fantastic also I will say um life hack not real life hack but like when you own Uggs uh, to scotch guard them. Oh, good call. Yeah, that's how Jersey I am. Is that my stepmom taught have. me how to scotch guard my Uggs <laughs> so that when I walked in the snow in New Jersey, they didn't get ruined there because comes they were a time clearly. in every young girl's life in New Jersey. <sighs> yeah, where her mother will teach her how to scotch guard <laughs> her <laughs> Uggs about the birds and the bees and the Uggs and the trees. Oh my goodness. Oh, it was. Oh, that's so great. Welcome to the Ugg family. Thank you. I'm very excited. Yeah, I've only had like the Walmart brand yeah your ankles will never feel the same oh my god i feel like i'm walking on a cloud Uh, y'all we are not we are not sponsored non-spawned by uggs but i would be oh you know i mean that's truly what i would wrap my car in if i really think about it um okay so when we talked about super bowl yes we have to talk about obvious okay well i have a i so the my biggest story from hawaii Okay. Uh huh. Because everything was pretty low key. The biggest story happened on Super Bowl Sunday. Okay. Um, we, I, I was like, I want to actually just like go to a bar, get nachos, get wings, like do an actual, like, you know, dumbass Super Bowl. Yeah. And like, neither it's one of fun. us care. Who gives a shit? Yeah. We'd have no, you know, neither one of us care about either team, but uh-huh. let's go have a good time. Went to a bar, uh, had nachos had wings and then went back to the hotel to be like okay let's actually just go down to the beach for like a second you know it's a beautiful day right you're in hawaii it's one of your last days right you we don't care about football. we got it in for like a second of being like cool this is only confirming that i don't really care about mm-hmm. either team so let's actually go spend time at the hotel walk back into the room put a bathing suit on it was exactly the moment that the mr peanut commercial yes. I turned it on for a second because Elliot was going downstairs to like get us a, a spot. Mm-hmm. And it was that exact moment. And I grabbed my phone to in, like to story it, which was the only thing I storied over the course yes. of four days. I know. I know. Truly. <laughs> Just to make sure people knew I was alive. Uh-huh. Uh, and it so it came back as a baby. Peanut. Let me say this, first of all, because I saw <laughs> I texted you. Oh, my God. I called it baby peanut. And then that was before I saw your Instagram story. I said it a week before Tyler and Corey. Oh, see, I said I, it the morning that commercial came out at Instagram story on the 22nd. They did not podcast it till the 29th. OK, then I only heard I your story. I will credit off something very, <laughs> very, very stupid. I only heard your story, I guess, announcing that you thought it was like going to be a new flavor, like a fire roast. No, no, flavor. no. I said it's going to come back as baby peanut oh. to bank off baby Yoda. OK, then I got it misconstrued. My fault. <laughs> Set the record straight. I was like, I cannot believe Grace. Here's an Addendum. is giving Tyler and Corey credit <laughs> for my prediction. I think Tyler saw my story 
mm. put it in his brain, and then he claimed it as his own idea. You That's know, what I think, Tyler. That's what I think. <laughs> Call them out. They've called you out on skits for sketches I on mean, their podcast. Because he tweeted, oh my gosh, Corey and I called this, mine's blown. And I'm like, here's the receipts. I said it on the 22nd. It's, it's the lowest stakes thing of all time. And I'm still like, I demand to be recognized. But so I, you deserve it. And also I didn't like stay for the aftermath to find out exactly what that was about was it just that the baby peanut was being born he's Were there being more born. commercials no it's just him okay. it's just baby uh, it's and he goes psych i'm back or something and then that's it oh i didn't hear it because oh. we were just watching it in the bowling alley so all i was hearing was the sound of my own strikes and spares <laughs> the sound of your own loss happening yes. before your eyes exactly oh, uh, no. no it basically just goes it says something like just kidding i'm back Okay, well, I will say, first of all, the hashtag is baby nut. <laughs> and like, I don't, so many problems I don't hear that. nut without just thinking of jizz. And they know what they're doing. And so like a baby nut is all nuts. If they know that, what they're doing. <laughs> there was someone you in the, so? the marketing meeting that had to raise this concern because uh, yeah, there's right? too many like uh, loops and uh whatever that they have to go through to get this approved in a company that right. big i know there's a lot of red tape yeah so it's baby nut <laughs> i'll i'll go ahead and say it the reason why baby yoda works so well and i feel like why mm-hmm. everyone went ape shit over him is because he is an actual puppet and also because no one saw it coming. No one saw Literally, it coming. Literally, there was not even, from my knowledge, but I also didn't, you know, look at uh, The Mandalorian before it came mm-hmm. out or Star Wars at all. It blindsided even the most, like, fanatic fans. Right. As opposed to Baby Nut, which I called and then Tyler you- <laughs> Oakley and Corey Cool pretended to call. Uh, <laughs> we got beef. We got beef. Um, so anyway, but... I feel like it was a mistake making Baby Nut CGI. I think he should have been a little puppet. Everyone is mm. in, everyone likes puppets more. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Baby Nut should have been a puppet. Also, I guess Baby Nut is on Twitter and people hate him on Twitter. Oh, ooh, I'm looking at your screen. Yeah. He tweeted, uh, t- what is today? Yesterday, much. Goober Goober Gaga. No. I see, the <laughs> other thing too is the Baby Nut came back too sassy and also spoke English like perfectly as if it was exactly the same age as Mr. Peanut that died but yeah. just is now a, it's reborn is into Is he supposed this. to be reincarnated or an, a brand new nut? I don't know but it just makes me go that's more uh, for me in the tank of like why I don't want children. Right. That baby came back uh, unapologetic and like it pranked everyone. Absolutely. I know exactly like through grieving the Kool-Aid man <laughs> cried at that funeral oh god all the best hits showed up but i love that i just clicked on goober goober gaga and the first the top response is dirty cocksucker <laughs> <laughs> like okay like there's already people with guns pointed at them oh there's, my god there's already someone just a, a gif of just uh peanuts in a blender people wow. hate this baby nut <laughs> shut the absolute <laughs> fuck up <laughs> God. Okay. So bring back the old Mr. Peanut, someone says. But did they they didn't launch anything new other than a sassier, younger no. spokesperson? Here's what I want to know. Why not both? Right? Why can't we have the baby nut and the classic Mr. Peanut? Also, let's talk about the actual birds and the bees for a second. How did this happen? I don't know. It burned up in a fire, uh Mr. Peanut. It's a seed. Did. It's a legume. Oh, is that? <laughs> Why do I just sound like Christopher Walken? It's, it's a, a legume. legume. Um, <laughs> yeah, like did a little shard of Mr. Peanut grow this baby nut? That's and this baby nut came back sassy as all hell to what? Uh, that we're supposed to love it and go, you got us. And yeah, we- we're back in. <laughs> you know what they should have done? Now hmm. that I think about it, when we went to the Nutmobile, yeah. Remember how they were bringing back the classic 90s cheese balls? Yes. They should have made baby cheese ball. I wanted anything. I wanted literally anything <laughs> other than what we got from this outcome. It's a weird CGI. <laughs> He's too sassy. Goober, goober, gaga. No, thank you. No. Uh, you know what I like? I like Gritty being completely confusing. Exonerated. 
Exactly. Thank God. I, oh, sorry. Where were you going? No, I, I like when Gritty showed up on the scene, Gritty came out yeah. as aggressive as Baby Nut. But for whatever reason, <laughs> Gritty had no predecessor. So right. you can go, yeah, that thing has no track record, so it can do whatever the fuck it wants. Gritty looks like a cheese ball who grew up and got a drinking problem. <laughs> Gritty looks like if uh, animal from the Muppets, yeah. like uh, really fucked a cheese ball. Yeah, but, like they both had a meth problem at the same time. Now I would be on board for baby gritty, itty bitty gritty, <gasps> itty bitty gritty. See, yeah. I, you have a career in marketing. I it know. is there for you. If I wasn't so <laughs> fucking vain, I would be an advertiser. <laughs> Like, right, yeah. I just I said I'm trying to advertise myself and is the only thing I do badly. Support for today's episode of This Might Get Weird it comes from a company ready to support you. We're talking about Third Love today. Third Love does bras differently. They believe that every woman deserves to feel comfortable and confident every day with the right kind of support. They help her do this. They are a company that makes bras that are designed to fit you, not the other way around. Designed with measurements from millions of women, their bra styles are made to fit your life. They have over 80 bra sizes, but they know that there's only one that matters to you. They make bras that you can believe in. Every bra is backed by their perfect fit promise. Listen to this. You have 60 days to wash the bra, to wear the bra. And if you don't love the bra, you can return it and it's free. It's incredible. So, okay, they have a fit finder quiz. Basically, you go on their website. It takes 60 seconds. Over 15 million women have already taken this quiz to date. It's super fun, super easy, super um, non-invasive even in the most invasive parts of you that you want some actual information about. And like I said, every customer has 60 days to wear the bra, wash it, put it to the test, and if you don't love it, return it, and third level, wash it and donate it to a woman in need. And it is truly the most comfortable bra that you're own, you'll own. you ever own. Sorry, I'm getting too ahead of myself. I'm so comfortable with the dialogue that I am. You get it. They have straps that won't slip. They have tagless labels. There's no itching. They have lightweight, super thin memory foam cups that mold to your shape, and they donate all their gently used return bras to women in need, like I said, and they've donated thus far over $15 million in bras. Third Love knows there's a perfect fit bra for everyone. So right now they're offering you guys 15% off your first order. Go to thirdlove.com slash TMGW now to find your perfect fitting bra and get 15% off your first purchase. That's thirdlove.com slash TMGW for 15% off today. If there's one thing I know about TMGW listeners, it's that you're too legit, too legit to have stinky pits. Well, luckily, if you do have some rank underarms, I've got you covered with a little brand called Native. Native is this amazing deodorant company that uh, it's vegan, it's never tested on animals, which is important to me, and also it's made with natural ingredients. I'm talking coconut oil, I'm talking shea butter. You're not gonna look at the ingredients and be like, what is this alien science language that I'd have to have a doctorate in chemistry to know? Uh Uh-uh. Plus, what's really important is the ingredients that aren't in it right okay so there's no aluminum parabens or talc found in native deodorants it comes in amazing delicious smell i love the um cucumber and mint that one is really nice they also have lavender rose eucalyptus and mint coconut and vanilla and there's also rotating smells depending on the the season They got seasonal smells, y'all. It comes in lots of options for men and women and even teens. And trust me, I love that I've totally switched over to native. But if you don't trust me, which, you know, I can be a little little sketchy, trust their over 9,000 five-star reviews. Okay? Still not convinced? Well, then just try it for yourself. If you go to Native Deodorant, Dot com and use the promo code TMGW20, you get 20% off your first purchase. That's 20% off if you use TMGW20 at nativedeodorant.com. You know what? Try something new. Your friends will thank you. Um, yeah, so Baby Nut is here. Wow. I don't... Put, okay, I put this on our Patreon. Did you see the post I put on Patreon? No. Oh, okay. What well, now it? that it's been up there, and go to our Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash this might get weird. But I posted Mm-mm. 
screen grabs of the day Mr. Peanut was it was announced he died. Right. I texted the Nutmobile. Yes, this is what we didn't get around to talking about last week's episode. I texted the Nutmobile <laughs> she, <laughs> she, because the nut- I have it, and they're in my <laughs> phone as just a, as just the peanut emoji. This is all real for people that are yeah. questioning that we yeah. If you're new listeners, I, we have a relationship with the planners. Peanut <laughs> yeah, that's why this hurts us so, so deeply. Much. So I said, I heard the news. <laughs> I hope you guys are holding up okay. <laughs> Like a good friend would do like to ch- reach out. You check in. You check when in. someone's going through a hard time. They sent me back a picture <laughs> of Mr. Peanut in like a funeral wreath <gasps> with a <laughs> with, with an enamel an enamel pin that says in memory of Mr. Peanut with his life. Wow. A, um, and then a prayer candle. And then it said, thank <sighs> you for reaching out. We are absolutely shocked to hear about the news. Mr. Peanut will be dearly missed, but we are excited to see what comes next. And I was like, you're too excited. There's a baby nut. Also, yeah. Also, that's a copy paste for everyone that's yeah, how reaching many, out. I don't know. How many people reach out to Adrian Almond <laughs> of the Nutmobile <laughs> to make sure she's grieving properly and about that, her boss? And that response that quickly that there's a prayer candle and an enamel pin. That's how you really monetize death mm-hmm. is just make the pins and the candles. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Already have the merch ready to go. Uh, but can I tell oh, you, my God, the bigger thing that happened to me in Hawaii and immediately after that yeah so uh no a very chill time um like i said i went to the room watched the peanut commercial falsely praised tyler yeah yeah i (laughs) i i fucked up and this is where karma came back and slapped me directly in the face immediately after this all makes sense now that i'm saying it out loud what did you do so i went downstairs with Elliot we're a couple drinks in it's a beautiful day we're having a great time we decide to go down to the beach there is um a very clear pathway to the beach and it's like the end of the day so like the lifeguards aren't fully on duty like everyone's kind Mm -hmm. of like packing up for the day so it's not super busy dusk dusk ish and uh I walk down this very clear open pathway and I ate the biggest shit I've ever done in my entire oh no I it was a, a paved path, pathway oh, no. going down to the sand and I was holding like my shoes and uh, towels and like my backpack uh-huh. and I got too excited <laughs> in trotting down this little path yeah. that I fully skid on my stomach. Oh, like no. I, I cut my hand. I cut my... Is that why you're wearing yeah, your... Sw- I, <gasps> Grace, that's the biggest <laughs> band-aid I've ever seen. It looks like I got a fresh tattoo in Hawaii. I did not. I got a gravel did, tattoo oh my god and on your hand and on my knee and on my side. that's why you're doing the emo thumbs <laughs> that's why i'm doing emo thumbs today just so i don't keep touching it but the did you cry no because i was still in such a good mood that i didn't think i hurt myself very bad that i like bounced back up and was like i'm fine and elliot was like you splattered like the nickelodeon logo yeah like <laughs> He's like, you were oh. gack. Yeah, he like came to help me, but he was like, oh my God, you just fell so hard. And I was like, I know I did. Be cool, be cool. No one saw. He's like, yeah, no one but saw you. But then you're bleeding everywhere. Then we ran into the ocean because I was like, okay, I just want to get in the water. So it, it heals it, and then, everyone says. Yeah, as we're in the water, I was like, uh oh. Sharks. Here comes the pain washing over. And now I suddenly, because I was like, oh, I didn't fall that hard. I got back up. And then I like looked down. And I was like, oh, wow. Okay. So I'm like, real bleeding bleeding situation you had that adrenaline and of course we're now at the furthest place from our room in the hotel to like get back to it so i was like okay we're in the water we're having a great time here's what i'm gonna do uh because we went down and it's dust so there's no lifeguards and as we're like going down after i fell and they didn't see it they like turned around like oh sorry we don't have any towels and we're like don't worry we don't need them and so i'm in the water no towels the room is like so far away and i was like okay I'm going to have to make a beeline for the room so that no one sees that I'm like a bleeding woman. Were you not not scared of sharks at this point? That too. We made the joke about that, but we didn't see any sharks. Lots of whales, though. It's whale season. Get out of here. Really? Beautiful whales. Stop it. I love whales so much. They were incredible. Uh, But yeah. (laughs) And so I like grabbed my stuff. I was wearing like a Budweiser t-shirt that day because I'm like football, sports. Here's my contribution. Yeah. And uh, and so I'm like running back, holding 
my backpack over my elbow and this Budweiser shirt over my knee to try and like precariously place things so that yeah. no one can tell. Mm-hmm. Been there. But I like run back up to the room and my Budweiser shirt is just <gasps> soaked in blood. <laughs> It was so bonkers. It was like, and then I got back to the room and like the aftershock like wears off. And so yes. I'm like showering and I'm like, oh, oh, this is not a cute look at all. Not at all. And Yikes. so for the last two days, I've just been like changing band-aids and being oh. like, this is actually so annoying for oh. my body to go through. Yeah, oh, it was man. quite a trip. Quite a Literally. trip. Literally a quite trip. a trip. <laughs> okay, two things. Also, I lost my shoe. <laughs> In the trip? In the trip, I had a little new pair of Keds and I just didn't want to like be bothered to look around when I got back to the room. I was like, well, shoe's gone. And this all adds up. I misplaced my Mr. Peanut commercial uh, contributions and now this is what I get. When I was driving this morning to an event to a fancy political breakfast, (laughs) someone threw a shoe out the window. At you? I I was behind (laughs) him. I just, all of a sudden a sneaker got thrown out of a window. What? Isn't that crazy? It, just on the street. J- go driving down Sunset. <laughs> okay, but those aren't my two things. Two things. One. Yeah. Doesn't it, isn't it crazy how like whenever I hurt myself, like if you really stub your toe or really yeah. do something, whatever, it feels so dumb to cry as an adult. Oh, and I didn't even. When you're like, I kind of want to cry right now, but I'm a big girl. Right. And I didn't even <laughs> cry because I was like, I'm fine. I'm probably also a little drunk and like the adrenaline is rushing. Yeah. And so I don't really feel anything until I went to bed that night. And I was like, I can't lay on my side. And oh. this underside of my elbow, I'm just like laying with my arm over my head, trying to let like the raw skin try and get air oh. to scab. Oh. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. To get air. Also, I don't know what it is. I feel like when we were younger, and this could have been a regional thing, uh-huh. but people talked about tourniquets a lot more than they do now. <laughs> Which, okay, wait. <laughs> I, I, don't know, the dots I don't know if it was because I was like working at a summer camp or what, but do you remember where there was a phase where it was like, you should learn how to apply a tourniquet? Meaning you should apply pressure so that you can like stitch someone up. No, like a tourniquet is like where you where you'll like, let's say someone was like, let's say someone's arm got cut off. Right. You would like take a bandana bandana and then take like something else to help twist it to like stop (laughs) stop the the bleeding. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like I I feel like they were explained to me. And when I was younger, I was terrified at some point I was going to have to apply apply a tourniquet on someone. I did not go to summer camp. So I think that's Uh, probably why I didn't have that experience as much. But there's still time if you want to learn today. Um, Okay, so I didn't trip this week, but I did have something embarrassing happen. Cool. Um, (laughs) First of all, I went hiking. Okay. Yeah, I the kind of fuck? went. I went the reverse hiking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, no, I knew that I was going to be drinking on Friday for the right. first time. So I planned a hike with my friend Melissa, our friend Melissa, yeah. the next morning where I was going to meet her literally on the other side of town in the uh-huh. Pacific Palisades at 8 a.m. Good for you. So I knew I wasn't going to like go home and like get shit faced by yeah. myself because I had to get up. You preemptively, yeah, save uh, yourself. I went hiking. How'd it go? It was, <laughs> I was very winded. This is for people again that are listening to this yeah. being like, so you guys were sober for like about Two 30 days and then you're baffled by the fact that you uh, walked a little bit. I went hiking. <laughs> but here's the problem is, do you ever have... Um, like a bottle of water or something in your back seat, and you fully hear it rolling back and forth yes. and do n- not move it. Oh, yeah. You just let it continue doing that for three weeks. Yes. Ish. You sure. You know, give or take. So I had something rolling around back there, and I assumed it was like a can of LaCroix or like whatever. Something. It was one of those non alcoholic beers. Like Brook- <laughs> it was a Brooklyn Brewery IPA non alcoholic beer. So a carbonated beverage. A carbonated just beverage. Bopping around. So we go hiking and then Melissa is like, hey, follow me. Let's go get smoothies. I was uh-huh. like, no problem. I open my car door. It had been, it had rolled to the front seat. <gasps> I go to pick it up and it starts shotgunning. <laughs> Like literally something punctured a small hole yeah. and it was shotgunning. It sprayed all over the inside of my car. I was trying to pick it up like a bomb. I couldn't get it. Then I pull it out and like hold it near me. And the family is just watching me thinking I'm shotgunning a beer at 830 in the morning post hike. 
it was it, like I didn't know if the sad thing was we're about to go get smoothies and oh. I'm and I reek of beer, right? Or that it wasn't even real beer. That is not like real which beer. is sadder that I was shotgunning a non-alcoholic oh. beer at eight thirty in the morning <laughs> to celebrate a two-mile hike. It was three miles, just you know. Um, get the facts right. I mean, it was wow. so sad. And also, like that beverage still has sugar mm. in it, so cleaning that out of your car not an easy job. Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> It's everywhere. <laughs> My car reeks. It was so sad. But then we go get smoothies and it's uh-huh. like in a really nice part of town. And Melissa, we're walking there. She goes, don't judge me for how expensive my smoothie's going to be. Okay. And I was like, OK, I go, what is it going to be like thirty dollars? She's like, no, it's twenty eight dollars. Wow. She got a smoothie uh-huh. called the billion dollar smoothie what's so expensive yeah let me look it up yeah what is this thing i mean it's not her fault if they are uh pricing it like i know it's but it's her fault for buying something that expensive it was crazy i could not believe it i could not believe dollars for a smoothie for a fucking smoothie which is basically like three times as much as you would pay to get just all of the ingredients to make like right. 10 of those smoothies. Exactly. Okay. What all, what's the crazy shit that's in here? Um, what they, kind of like uh, up shots or whatever they put yeah, in the protein yeah, yeah. shots, whey shots. I don't know. Okay. So why would it be this expensive? It's got, oh, it's got this crazy mushroom blend, which is why I didn't do it. Okay. Um, grass fed whey protein, something grass, oscillate. Wait, grass fed protein doesn't make. Grass fed whey protein. Protein isolate. That's no a idea. thing. <laughs> vitamin C, crystals, whole leaf, aloe, chlorophyll, goat colostrum. You have vitamin C crystals and goat. What's, what's goat colostrum? Let's These are see. just literal letters that they're putting together and uh, you can look them up. Wow. Okay. It's something that baby goats need. <laughs> <laughs> Treat your body like a baby goat. It's for goat immunity. <laughs> for goat. <laughs> So anyway, I don't know. That smoothie was the goat. Wow. $28. That's so nuts. I mean, but yeah, she is immune to goats now. So yep. maybe she's winning. <laughs> exactly. Headed and, to goat yoga. And her car doesn't smell like non-alcoholic beer right I now. I mean, I was the sad one for sure. Uh, did you watch the halftime show? Of course I did. I just watched it last night because I was too busy tending to my we wounds. We took a break from bowling to go to the bar of the bowling alley so we could hear it. It was incredible. I thought it was great. Shakira is so weird. And I love when she looked into the camera. I went, uh, well, do you, you read what that is. No. It's, so it's basically she's half Lithuanian, I think, or uh, I forget what her. It's basically it's um, a traditional thing in mm. that side of her culture. And everyone's like, for all of you that thought she was just being perverted and gross, like this is an actual cultural thing. So educate yourself. I just thought she was being a turkey. I thought it was great. I, I thought it was it. wonderful. I think it, she's hysterically weird yeah but it was i in the best way i was like oh shakira and uh j-lo it's gonna be like so incredibly sexy so insane Mm -hmm. shakira's ability to move her hips without moving her shoulders in any it blows my fucking mind they don't lie i it took forever to get home from the airport last night but when i got home i rewarded myself by watching the halftime show (laughs) and i was just one arm cradled over me just screaming in bed being like this is awesome it was really good i will say yeah that because of the amount of remixes and collaborations i was hoping pitbull was gonna be there pitbull played the pre-show so oh, i oh really he played the pre-show and i only knew that because it was trending on twitter and everyone was wildly disappointed no really and yeah and it was just I that you whispered it uh, yeah into a microphone because mr worldwide <laughs> is everywhere and I don't want him to think I'm disrespect of it anyway. Uh, but let me show you. So my mom was texting me um, about because <laughs> she knew that we were like in Hawaii, that we'd be watching the Super Bowl in Hawaii, yeah. blah, 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 even though we weren't really watching it. And she goes, so three texts in a row unanswered by me. It. All girl halftime show. Girl power. Strong arm. Yes. Strong arm. Strong arm. I love it. Heart, heart, heart. Wait. Who is that? Crap. There's guys. Girl power. All <laughs> caps. Wait, who is that? Crap. crap there's there's guys. guys. And then girl power. All caps. Well, OK. It was like Bad Bunny and somebody else. Yeah, I, I didn't. I had no idea. They both looked like 
Ali G characters. Yes, yes, <laughs> I, I agree. Uh, I agree. No, but- also, I didn't realize that Shakira plays the guitar and the drums. Oh yeah, she's I- amazing. All of a sudden, you look over and she's animal. And she, yeah, she's playing a guitar, and I was like, cool. And then all of a sudden, yeah, she's literally just playing she's the drums, amazing. and I was like. If she breaks out like an accordion, I'm going to lose my yeah. fucking mind right now. <laughs> uh, she is such a badass. Did you know that the little girl who sang during it? Oh, yeah. Who was that? J-Lo's daughter. What? J-Lo and Mark Antony's daughter. The beautiful, angelic little girl yes. that came up. At, wow. J-Lo's I had no little idea. Girl. Isn't that's, that crazy? And also, J-Lo is 50 years old. And that's what she looked like. And I just bragged about hiking three miles. <laughs> Fake I was like, exploded. we we ate we ate goat chloroform. <laughs> I just love, <laughs> I love so much that the Super Bowl is so the inherently like jock whatever. It's terrible that J Lo just like and here's a stripper pole and I'm gonna like yes. actually but make it look people beautiful. Who are upset about it, and I I'm like, fuck hated all you. Of it. I, I was like, you're upset that this is so cool and so entertaining you're upset how into it your husband was you're upset that these women are confident and this is the wrong idea that you want to give your daughters okay (laughs) good luck with that we also have support for today's episode from one of my favorite companies of all time that's right we're talking about HelloFresh. If you want to break out of your dinner rut, you can. With HelloFresh's 22-plus seasonal chef curated recipes each week, HelloFresh also cuts out stressful meal planning and prepping so you can enjoy cooking and getting dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes. If you're one of the people that are better at things than other people, Also, if you didn't realize, HelloFresh is a subscription meal service package. They have pre-portioned ingredients. That means that there's less prep for you and less food waste. It's absolutely wonderful. I couldn't recommend more. If you need more recommendations, go to my YouTube channel. You'll see it firsthand. They also make it easy for you if you want to change up the system that you create with them. You can add extra meals or lunches to your weekly order. You can throw in sides, desserts. You can, like, garlic bread and cookie dough. You know, we all have that time of the month in which one of them is a side and one of them is a dessert and sometimes they're switched all the way around it is america's number one meal kit and i have had many a time spent with hellofresh uh like i've said on my youtube channel and uh if i can make one of their meals that means that you could probably make all of their meals and guess what if you want to try to make all of their meals, you can go to HelloFresh.com slash TMGW10 and use code TMGW10 for 10 free meals, including shipping. Again, HelloFresh.com slash TMGW10. Use code TMGW10 for 10 free meals, including free shipping. As we talk about JLo's body, mm-hmm. Dunkaroos are back. <laughs> I also have a food related <laughs> breaking news story. I dunk, okay, first of all, let's dunk handle this. are coming back. Didn't know they were gone. And I guess uh, Canada had them for a lot longer than we did. When did we lose them? We did, lost them in the 90s. Was it like, but it, if it's not documented in a commercial in which the Dunkaroos like fall into a pit fire and like, no, 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 exactly. Have a funeral. The Dunkaroos like <laughs> dove in and it, the, the pool is too shallow. And um, no, Dunkaroos are coming back, which make me really excited. Also, I think <sighs> I just smudged my eyeliner like a motherfucker. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm really excited because those are my favorite. Yeah, I never got to get them growing up because they were like name brand. And oh. so we didn't have any of that. Is that why you're also so into Lunchables as an adult? I had a lunch for dinner last night stop it um it was all that was in my refrigerator when i got home oh (laughs) my god um probably yeah but i didn't realize that i guess because dunkaroos what it's a a cookie that looks like a kangaroo yes that you dunk in frosting basically like rainbow chip yeah which is my jam yeah so i would just eat the cookies and then i would take my finger and scoop out the icing and eat it as one fail swoop (laughs) Because I, I've, there's one thing I do. It's eat stuff in a weird method. But that's they're giving you op- they're giving you different yeah. options. But wait, what's your food news? So <laughs> before coming over, I was like, let me just go online and see if I'm missing anything major yeah. that's worth talking about. I opened up delisted for all of ten seconds, and it's uh, Papa John's Papadia. 
There is a pizza quesadilla that Papa John's is now rolling out as a um, okay a thing to compete in. Can the I food. see it? Yeah, it's exactly what you think it is. It oh, looks, it's just a quesadilla, but with pizza items in it. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it looks like you okay. know someone threw up a pizza. <laughs> like it doesn't yeah. look that novel. It doesn't look that like brand new. Uh, but Papa John's is uh is coming out with it, and it's called the Papa Dia. Wow. Yeah. Um, isn't Papa John like a terrible person? Yeah. He's no longer, I think, in Associated. actual. Yeah. I don't think he, don't hold us accountable for this news. But yeah, I, he's not, uh, I don't think, part of the actual Papa John's franchise anymore. We used to get so fucking high and eat so much Papa John's in college that one time, <laughs> one time we ordered a large, a large pizza and, uh, it, once it got delivered to us, it was wrong. It was right. like ham and pineapple, something like that. And we didn't order that. You know, I can yeah. pick around it. Sure. I'm one of those vegetarians that I'm like, whatever, I'll still eat you, the crust. Yeah, and- you, you figure it out for yourself. So my college roommate has a brilliant idea. She's like, they gave us the wrong pizza. We're, we're going to get a free pizza out of this, right? <laughs> so she calls and she's like, oh, we got the wrong pizza. Uh, you guys need to bring us a new one. Uh-huh. So, I mean, we're like all 20 pounds too heavy like gained a solid 20 freshman year in pajamas like just like going down to get more pizza on a Friday <laughs> night we get down there and the poor Papa John's delivery guy is like hey I got your pizza he's like cool thank you he goes I need the other one back we'd already <gasps> eaten it <laughs> that's how wait what are they gonna do with the I other don't know one? but I guess it's just like oh it's the wrong we pizza want to prove that you're not fucking with us and so my college roommate <laughs> out of just thinking on her feet she just goes well, we're Jewish, and we were so offended there was pork on it, we immediately threw it away. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and the poor pizza guy, he was definitely didn't buy it at all. It's not his job. He's also your age, and he doesn't want to have to come back and ask you guys. It was so crazy. This is my college roommate who said when she got married she wanted to have a um a fountain of papa john's garlic sauce oh, yes. and she did it uh she got married like three years ago and she had one i mean that's goal setting goal making goal she achieved it she manif yeah exactly she put it out in the universe she secreted it um it well, my, one of the so papa john is a terrible human being but he's mm. notoriously like shit face all the time and when you google search drunk papa john oh the photos yes that come up are he's always beyond, he's just <laughs> <laughs> what's up guys just do a quick google search yeah, and google look for the search. first image well, you'll see it that's why papa john and jimmy johns all the johns suck dick in a bet like and the, that's the a, there's dick so of many life. there's so many prostitute jokes the there. dick <laughs> of life <laughs> dirty um, johns they're all they're all all there. Uh, speaking of fast food, though, I went to go visit Chip uh, weekend before, uh-huh. um, and we got late night um, Del Taco because they have the Beyond Meat tacos. Right, right, right. And we're there, and I'm like, oh, I'll just, I just want two tacos, yeah. like nothing crazy, right? Chip gets a, who knows, like maybe three. <laughs> we get back. I haven't started eating yet. He finishes a taco. I go to get one, and he goes, oh, I'm like, what? He goes, I think. I just ate your taco. I'm like, <laughs> this is his new thing is to accidentally eat my stuff and realize it after it's gone. And that you have no backup plan. He can eat from both parties. Exactly. <laughs> he was, he was just like, I'll go get you another one. I'll go get you another one. I was like, no, no. Well, that's your gift to him for winning Super Bowl is some yep. sort of Del Taco uh, gift card. <laughs> I mean, truly. Um, did I tell you I tried to do a little catfishing a couple weeks ago? uh no okay well <laughs> when we went to go do our reservoir walk yes. with hannah yes hannah was saying that she switched wedding planners but she doesn't yes. get the deposit back from her first wedding planner something, something until like, like her, until they have like another wedding to replace there's it. something with a venue that yeah that if they they're kind of holding out on giving her money back because they're saying that it hasn't been booked by someone else yet yeah well i created a fake email address <laughs> Yes, I, we had talked about possibly you going on this mission to potentially do this. I didn't know that you had actually done it. I did it. <laughs> I created a fake email address. I won't tell you the exact combo, but my name was Lindsay Evans, and I was born in 1987. Legit. Um, and I... You made yourself younger? I made myself younger. <laughs> 
<laughs> Story checks out. Got it. I made myself 33. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> Go on. oh my god so stupid um so anyway i created a fake email address and then i i went and i emailed the wedding planner right to see if they could do my wedding on that same weekend yeah. to see if they were lying about the deposit or yeah, not yeah, you yeah. know so anyway but uh, i didn't do anything crazy but i just said help and i said <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything crazy. I just said, help. That was the subject line. How every bride to be starts an email to a potential wedding venue. That I mean, it was, it, that was a subject SOS. line. SOS. Lindsay Evans, 87. I said, help. Um, oh, no. And then I said, my fiance and I are getting married. Oh, wait. Okay, okay, okay. I said, I said, Hoping I'm, that good you and your I'm good at this. I said, my fiance and I are getting married, but we decided th- that rather than waiting for more than a year to tie the knot, that we wanted to get married this Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> Soon, I know. <laughs> but, okay, it says, <laughs> what? Oh, wow. I did not. I did this not is, you're, doing, this. you're doing <laughs> the actual reaction of the people at this venue that received this I email. Said, this I said, is what? But this oh, is wow. about, I said, my fiance is Italian <laughs> and a ton of his family are already coming over f- uh, to Napa for a trip that weekend. Mm-hmm. So we figured, why not just go for it? So now I've built it. Lindsay's husband is Italian. Right. His family is coming over. Her family's, his family's coming oh. over for Napa. And then I said, before I lay all the deets on you, I wanted to see if you're even available to do the wedding that last minute. XOXO, Lindsay Evans. And they responded back and they were like interested and, and whatnot. So they, they, so they, they have room to do it, which they means like... shut they, the door. Yeah, which means like... <laughs> You know, Hannah ain't getting that deposit back. Um, yeah, they took her money and ran with but it. But I love reading this and realizing I made myself younger and I gave myself an exotic husband. And you also have a bunch of typos, which is the actual, like, that's the definition of someone catfishing someone. The like, typos? A typo and you going, my Italian husband, I'll wait to give you all the deets. This is like, oh, some uh, exotic prince that's like, uh, oh. I have a room to rent. If I also you- said it would be about 100 to 150 people. Like, I put in some details. <laughs> some vague details. <laughs> XOXO gossip girl. I mean Lindsay I mean, Evans. Lindsey Evans. Did uh, I mention I'm future Italian years old. bride? <laughs> future thirty three year old Italian. I haven't His mother thinks I'm an old hag. I haven't mentioned where I'm born and raised or anything <laughs> about my family, but I need you to know everything about the man I'm supposed to marry. <laughs> you know what would be a fun game? Wait, so you didn't respond to the No, their then they responded and they were like, uh sounds great. Like, like, like whatever, like here's our menu of things we do this oh, is our okay. like baseline budget right. all that stuff um and then i didn't respond but i just thought of a fun game yeah. which we should do this is like a, a step up elevated version of number name <laughs> yes yes we should randomly choose some wedding planners or something <laughs> and then we email them inquiring but we should give the backstory from like a movie <gasps> and you know see I mean? like they... me and my husband met while we were both doing writing articles about how to lose a guy in 10 days right i don't want to say and i've the... never been kissed but <laughs> <laughs> i can't wait for my wedding day <laughs> exactly you know what i i was a wedding planner myself but then i fell in love with one of the grooms <laughs> then my father randomly tried to hook me up with <laughs> this italian guy hate brown m&ms i hate brown m&ms I've been jet lagged for days. I don't want to say I'm sleepless in Seattle right now, but look, I'm getting married in Hawaii. I have a rare disease where every morning I wake up not remember. I've gone on 50 first dates with my fiance, and now and just see if they fall oh, for it. I think that's great. I also I'm gonna do it. I've got this fucking fake email, fake email I, address. I might I, as well. Well, I also like the gamified version of choosing uh, a wedding venue or planner for both of us to send separate emails with mm. separate details in it and see which one they respond to first. <gasps> oh my God. But well, ask that, for the same wedding but date. But that's the wedding bride wars. That's, that's a whole other wedding. That's a movie. movie. Yes, it's Kate Hudson and Anne Hathaway and they're best friends and they've always dreamed of getting married at this one place and they oh. both get engaged and then they both want to get married on that day one. and so they they aren't in each other's weddings. I'm saying we Spoiler. do that, but we lie. <laughs> oh no, I'm in. <laughs> Where both of us 
say we reach out at the same yes. on the same day to yes. the same people but uh at about asking for the same weekend yes. but we both create separately okay detailed specifics about our different weddings oh or situations and, and see we, which one they want to plan more yeah <laughs> it's fucking on helbig <laughs> also i love that i have my email <laughs> I have my email open to look at my notes and I just got a random email that just says how to manage an overactive bladder. (laughs) How do these things sneak through to my primary? They, I mean, they hear you. They're like, we can't help you enough. We've heard Uh, all of it. Wow. So yeah, I tried to catfish and I think I was successful, Mm -hmm. but you know, I mean, whatever. uh, Here's hoping that that venue is a huge fan of the podcast. Mm. Give Hannah back her money. <laughs> yeah, totally. Sorry to put you on blast. I didn't say who it was, Mm-mm. but hopefully they listen and they're like, Lindsay Evans, Italian husband. That sounds <laughs> familiar. And some girl there actually named Lindsay Evans is like, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wow. So anyway, that's what's up. I mean, I guess we'll, I think we should try to do that this week and report back. Like, but we have to find a, uh, a popular enough like wedding planner or venue that it's mm. not completely curious that they get two emails on the same day with true. a bunch of very weird specifics in them. True. Okay. All right. We're <laughs> going to figure it out for you guys. We'll figure out our deets before we share the full deets. deets. All the all the deets. <laughs> um, if you guys want more <clears throat> of us, go mm-hmm. to patreon.com slash this might get weird and come join that party yeah, over there. Yeah. It's a fun party. Yeah. We've got like live streams. We've got extra content. We've got a weekly video we this, put up yes and this month especially Mamie and I are doing a bonus podcast over there mm. reviewing the Taylor Swift documentary oh I forgot that's what we were doing yeah we're gonna Ooh. we're gonna watch the Taylor Swift documentary uh via Netflix and um, that's gonna be our Hell bonus yeah. podcast so if you are curious about our thoughts on that it's not gonna be on the main podcast it's gonna be over on Patreon so go check that out mm-hmm. um go uh look at baby nut tell us <laughs> This got weird. It got weird. This might get weird.